Not currently tracking a reason to hold at T minus 40. It can pop up at the last moment or after we pass that gate. We can always hang out there for a couple of minutes uh, if we need to. Um, we do have some extra time. We're not constantly topping off the propellant in these vehicles, so we have about a seven, eight minute window where we can wait uh, for any final issues to clear. We're not currently tracking a reason to hold there. Again, our range continues to be green as we look at sea and airspace about both out over the Gulf and in our reentry zone out in the Indian Ocean. All right, two minutes, 15 seconds to go. A lot of things on tap. For Flight 11, plan to be the last launch of this version of Starship and Super Heavy. Once again, we're really focused on getting ship over to reentry. Once we get to that phase, we're going to dive in. There's a lot of exciting stuff that's going to be happening on our way back through uh, and down to the ground, hopefully out in the Indian Ocean. Minute 45. Should hopefully be seeing. There's a quick wiggle check. Checking out the thrust vector control, the steering on the booster. We use those inner 13 engines. Doing their fun final dance before the big show. And we'll do that one more time after we cross that T minus 40 gate. All right, range continues to be green. Still not tracking any issues on vehicle or pad. One minute to go. As a reminder, we can, we can hold at T minus 40. We're not planning to. Right, we're through T minus 40. Let's listen in. Flight Director Ty Huntington back in the seat. Take us through the final Flight seconds Directors until go for launch. T minus 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Go Super Heavy. Go Starship. Thanks for all the historic flights, Pad One. Catching downrange. Booster Raptor chamber pressure nominal. Booster and ship nominal power and telemetry. All right, we are about 45 seconds into flight. We're still getting the rattle here at Star Factory. We are seeing 33 out of 33 Raptor engines lit on Super Heavy as it arcs across the Gulf. Coming up next on Max Q. Max Q. So at this point, we've passed through that period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. The next thing we're looking forward to is going to be hot staging. So we've got 33 out of 33 Raptors lit. Super Heavy makes its way uphill. Hot staging is going to be coming up uh, in just a little over a minute. At that point, we're going to see all but three of those Raptor engines on Super Heavy shut down. Our version of Miko. Uh, most engines cut off instead of main engine. And then after that, we're going to release the clamps that are currently holding Starship to that hot stage adapter. It's then going to ignite its six Raptor engines to push it away from Super Heavy and then start making its flight uphill. 
So in about 30 seconds, we're going to see the engine start to shut down on Super Heavy. You'll see them kind of shut off in separate banks until we've just got those three center engines that never stop running for this process and then looking for six ship raptors. All right. Miko coming up in about 10 seconds. See the engines throttling down. Who's running cut off? Ship ignition. Stage separation. Use back burn startup. All right, successful hot staging maneuver. So we've got 12 of the 13 engines lit back up on boosters, so it's doing its boost back. Real real excitingly, ship though, we've got six out of six Raptors lit on ship there, so it's now going to continue to make its ascent into outer space. Meanwhile, this boost back is happening. We're using those 13 engines, uh, so everything, well, 12 out of the 13, and then we go down to three, and then we're going to shut down for... The end of boost back that's sending super heavy back so towards its planned splashdown zone in the gulf right after we finish this boost back burn we're also going to separate the hot stage this will be the final time boost that we're doing down. this is all right there's the end of the boost back burn we should be seeing the hot stage So the hot stage separates, it's going to make its way down, also splash down in the gulf. In the meantime, though, these six ship raptors are going to continue fire, firing for about five more minutes. Next up for the booster, though, is going to be its landing burn. There's a cool tracking shot. We dump some of the prop out on our way back in. All right, so for booster, this is one of the main things we're trying to get is going to be this landing burn. Oh, that's so you can see the hot stage kind of making its way towards the very the left side. So that's the bottom of the booster. It's about to pass right in front of where you can see some of that prop dump happening. They look like they're close together, but there's a good amount of distance between them and the hot stage will go down and splash down in the gulf while the booster comes back for its landing burn. Starship is on nominal trajectory. All right. Looking good on our trajectory, looking good on everything. Jake and Amanda, you guys with me down there? Yeah, definitely. The crowd is, is gathering over here in the office. You can definitely feel the energy in here. Um, great to see that booster is making its way down to the splashdown zone in the Gulf. Yeah, the shaking down here was absolutely nuts. The windows are still there, still intact. <laughs> so that was pretty awesome. But yeah, booster's coming down. We're at about 30 booster kilometers. About. Saved. All right, yeah, and as we approach that landing, uh, just like tower catches, we will be doing a 13-engine landing burn to slow down. This time it will be in a V3 configuration. And as we're starting to get into the denser part of the atmosphere, the booster is using four hypersonic grid fins to guide itself through atmospheric entry towards its landing site. And we're just Should about 20 seconds away from landing burn start where we'll ig first ignite the center 13 engines then bring that down to five to slow down the booster for landing and finally that will come down to three and we'll cut all of them off while we're still about 200 meters in the air so booster is going to see a bit of a part of it booster landing burn start up Booster landing burn shut down. And there we heard it. Booster landing burn shut down. We saw a 13 to 5 to 3 V3 demonstration. And into the water we go. 